Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining this session about how to level up your cloud native security with Zscaler's posture control. In this session, we're going to talk, give a brief introduction. We're going to talk about, you know, the typical enterprise model for cloud-based security, challenges with that typical model. You know, how does Zscaler solve those challenges? And what are the benefits of advanced threat and risk correlation engine? Um, my name is Dave Glading. I'm a cloud protection architect here at Zscaler, where I focus on everything we're doing to protect our cloud-based workloads. Hi, my name is Matt Barrett. I'm a senior technical product specialist here at Zscaler, uh, focused on posture control. So cloud transformation is increased capacity, velocity, and efficiency, unlike any previous advancement before it. But it has also introduced new risk and security challenges to customer security posture. The first challenge stems from the dynamic automated nature of cloud environments. What typically starts off as a lift and shift of traditional applications to the cloud quickly expands into a much broader adoption of dozens, if not more cloud native services and an equally rapid shift to multi-cloud for most organizations. Now we're not just talking about virtual machines, we're talking about applications, functions, network infrastructure, and more recently containers and Kubernetes. Each cloud provider and each service has their own set of capabilities and configuration and deployment settings, making it difficult for organizations to staff the correct security professionals to understand and mitigate risks. In most large organizations, this expertise lies in the cloud operations team rather than the security team. And as a result, it's increasingly difficult for the security team to keep up with the pace of growth in the cloud. Up until recently, the tools being used to secure the cloud have also followed suit, providing point solutions that provide siloed visibility. This poses issues for not only lack of automated correlation between different risk signals, but also duplicated data and alert fatigue. Making this even more difficult is the fact that most of what is deployed in the cloud is configured and deployed automatically via development and DevOps tools that are entirely out of the control of IT and InfoSec making it difficult for security teams to implement the proper policies and guardrails prior to potentially insecure code being pushed into production cloud environments. At the end of the day, you end up with a security team scrambling to gather and understand the data through stitched together scripts and spreadsheets, rather than actually focusing on remediation and secure development strategy. Manual audit processes are not only time consuming, but are also severely outdated by the time they're completed. Additionally, it is exceptionally difficult to understand the risk implications of the thousands of configurations across hundreds of cloud services, and then map them back to the multiple frameworks that most organizations must align to. With all of these disparate solutions, it becomes increasingly difficult to prioritize true cloud risk. Let's say for a minute that your security team has uncovered a critical vulnerability in your cloud environment. The question that now needs to be answered is, of the thousands of findings that your various security tools are reporting, is this particular critical security issue something that we need to focus on right now? This question comes up daily, sometimes tens or even hundreds of times per day. And we all know the answer. Unfortunately, the answer is, well, it depends. Attacks have become increasingly more complex, and this is exacerbated by cloud complexity itself. If the issue is completely isolated in a VPC with no internet exposure and no access to any corporate data, it probably doesn't represent a lot of risk to the organization, despite even being scored as critical. If the same issue, however, has a security group misconfiguration that exposes it to the internet or has access to cloud storage containing sensitive data, such as customer PII, or excessive permissions associated with that particular instance, or any combination of the three, then it potentially represents a lot of risk to the organization. Pulling together this context is difficult, if not impossible, with point cloud security tools alone. Once this risk is determined and potentially remediated, the security team is then tasked with finding the source of the issue. On premises, this wouldn't be much of an issue at all. Typical organizations would only have a handful of images used to boot bare metal servers and workstations, and likely a patch management solution update would be able to solve the problem. In the cloud, there can be hundreds of images being used for thousands of workloads or containers. 
Patching vulnerabilities or addressing misconfigurations on a single workload is better than nothing. But chances are those vulnerabilities and misconfigurations exist on many other assets in addition to the one that was just addressed. So in order to remediate the issues at scale, security teams have to shift left and tackle the issues in the DevOps lifecycle process as well. An automated solution that continuously assesses both the development and runtime environments is required. So what does this all mean? Having multiple cloud security tools all reporting on different parts of different clouds is going to result in multiple perspectives. And it's going to look different to each perspective. Thank you, Matt. So to reduce risk in today's cloud infrastructure, native applications and confidential data, you need a comprehensive approach with enhanced visibility and context. Zscaler's advanced risk and threat correlation delivers unique insight into trends that pose real risks to your business. Posture control filters raw data into intelligent insights, generating powerful visualizations of existing and potential risks with relevant context. Teams can visualize, identify, and analyze potential risk and all CSP security aspects within a single UI. Collection, ingestion, and analysis of application, infrastructure, and security data is automated to derive actionable insight within minutes, including configuration, activity, enablements, network access, vulnerability, and also infrastructure as code information. The real value here is prioritize risk information with alerts driven by contextual information. So Posture Control delivers insights with rich context to uncover and prioritize high risk attack vectors to maximize the security team's efficiency. Posture Control provides rapid alerts, guided response and expert recommendations so the SecOps team can focus on responding to the most critical risks across the development lifecycle. So what is Posture Control? So Posture Control is a cloud native application protection platform or CNAP, built from the ground up to help organizations build, deploy, and also run secure cloud applications. At the heart of Posture Control, is a graph-based correlation and prioritization engine. This engine takes in signals from a wide range of risk indicators, identifying the combinations of weaknesses that are most likely to be exploited by bad actors and prioritizing the findings so that you can be sure that your team is always maximizing the impact of their efforts, ultimately leading to a more efficient organization. Input signals include a complete cloud asset inventory, misconfigurations, excessive entitlements and permissions, internet exposure, unpatched vulnerabilities, and also sensitive data. Through these capabilities, Posture Control is able to consolidate numerous point products, including Cloud CMDB, CSPM, CIAM, DLP, KSPM, and vulnerability scanning into a single unified platform. Posture Control has native integrations with major CSPs such as Azure, it is also integrated into a broad range of individual development environments, source code management systems like GitHub and Azure repos, and a wide range of CI/CD pipelines, tools such as Azure pipelines, ensuring that even if you have different teams using different tools, the same unified policies can be applied in your environment from build to run. For Zscaler customers, planned integration with the Zscaler Zero Trust Exchange platform provides even more value enriching posture control findings with real-time visibility and control over cloud workload behavior, protection for sensitive data, and threat prevention backed by the world's largest security cloud. And of course, no enterprise class tool is complete without a broad range of integrations that help your team operationalize the findings and integrate fully into the workflows of your teams. Posture control has native integrations into all of the most commonly requested IT systems, including IAM, SIEM, and ITSM platforms. Um, but as cloud assets encompass more than just traditional virtual machines with the proliferation of containers and containerized infrastructure using Kubernetes, the attack surface of enterprise public cloud landscape has become much larger and far more complicated in recent years. To combat this, Posture Control provides comprehensive security for Kubernetes, implementing security in different stages of the container lifecycle. The first being code in Helm charts, 
YAML, Terraform, and more to identify security misconfigurations so they can be addressed pre-deployment. We also scan container images, identifying vulnerabilities. So if there's a critical vulnerability, you can patch these before deploying running containers from the image. Then from a runtime perspective, we provide a detailed Kubernetes asset inventory, as well as Kubernetes security posture management. So you can be alerted to security misconfiguration issues associated with your Kubernetes environment. It can also show you which running containers have vulnerabilities and which image is associated with them so you can patch the image accordingly. And not only does the posture control engine identify and prioritize risks in your cloud environment, but it extends those capabilities across the entire development lifecycle, allowing your security team to set policies and decide where to enforce guardrails even before deployment. So Posture Control integrates with major development lifecycle tools such as CICD, IDE, and source code management out of the box. This gives your development and DevOps teams the ability to correct issues directly in the tools they're already using without interrupting their flow, without requiring them to learn and understand yet another new tool. So by implementing Posture Control in your organization, this allows your security team to operate at the speed of cloud. With Posture Control, you'll be able to increase the productivity of both your InfoSec organization and development teams, identify, prioritize, and mitigate the biggest cloud risks facing your organization while allowing your counterparts to securely enable new clouds and services on demand. You can also reduce the cost of innovation by finding and fixing security issues early and by consolidating point cloud security tools into a single comprehensive platform. In addition, to, in addition to protecting your assets and workloads, another very real challenge is securing your data in the cloud. Posture Control now leverages Zscaler's best-in-class DLP technology to protect sensitive data and secrets and significantly improve correlation and risk prioritization with greater understanding of impact for public cloud risks. This is combined with the threat intelligence integration from Threat Labs. Zscaler's world-renowned in-house research team provide deep malware scanning and detect anomalous and suspicious behaviors using comprehensive network analytics. In summary, Zscaler Posture Control addresses these modern cloud challenges so organizations can take full advantage of their cloud resources without compromising on security or productivity. Key benefits include point product consolidation, a single easy to deploy agentless platform that eliminates point products by unifying CSPM, CIEM, CWPP, KSPM, and DLP, continuously securing every stage of the application lifecycle. Accurate risk identification, correlation, and prioritization. Posture control identifies attack paths and detects ongoing attacks by automatically correlating seemingly low risk signals when viewed individually but can be considered great risks when viewed holistically. And lastly, efficiency at scale. An integrated graph-based correlation and prioritization engine expedites remediation and reduces alert fatigue by focusing on the risks that matter most. So how do you get to experience firsthand the benefits of posh control in your environment? A good place to start is a free cloud security assessment Nothing's required to install and setup takes less than 30 minutes. Once complete, you receive a comprehensive report detailing asset information, security issues, and compliance findings. Also, be sure to check out the rest of the assets and activities we have going on at Microsoft Build. We'll also be at the in-person event. We'll have a booth available, so feel free to drop by with any questions. You can also reach out to your Zscaler account representative or go to our website, search for Zscaler Posture Control, and sign up for the assessment and also take a self-guided workshop. With that, Matthew and myself would just like to thank you for your time and attention and thanks for your interest in posture control. Enjoy the rest of your conference.